Hello, 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 welcome. Welcome to the Love Channel. Hey guys, I'm Heather. I'm Director of Education here at Luminous. And guys, we are here each and every day for you. So you learn more and more about Luminous and what we have to offer. So today is Valentine's Day. It is so sweet. So we are going to um, do some Valentine's look, um, some going out. Hello. Hello, Christina. So I was trying to figure out what I want to do. Hello, Musette. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, of course, we're going to do red lips. That's a given. Um, but I was trying to see like how smoky on the eyes we we're going to do. Um, there's so many different things that we could do. So you could do with the eyes. You could we could even do like a light pink on the lips or a neutral pink, and then do something fun on the eyes. Um, but I've been filling the lips. I think because I'm so in love with our uh, liquid lips that that's why I have two years old. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So my face is already prepped. Um, I do have the moisturizer on. Um, this earring might pop out. So just to let you know. Um, hello, Kelly. How are you? So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So first off, I'm going to do a giveaway. I haven't done a giveaway in a very, very long time. Um, so you, if you're a consultant, if you are a viewer, doesn't matter. You can win. Um, I'm going to think of my question, though. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, and I'm going to send you the, um, um, I don't have it with me, but I'm going to send you one of the vinyl slick liquid lipsticks in red and love. So you're going to get love and one of, uh, or the, um, the vinyl slick lips. Um, it's hot salsa, I believe. Hot salsa. So I'm going to send you hot salsa and love. <laughs> that makes a good combo. Uh, so we are going to do that giveaway. So how I do my giveaways here is I literally will ask, I'm going to ask a question and then turn my head away ask a question, ask a question, look around, ooh, doo, 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 and then look, and then whoever I see has the right answer is the winner. Reason I do that is because everybody's um, internet is different. There's a delay. There's people respond like what you see. You might um, respond and like, hey, I was the first one, but I don't see that. So I do it that way. So if you know the answer, you just type it in, type it in, type it in, type it in. So hopefully that when I look, you're but you're who I see. So love and hot. Yes. Christina's like, love hot salsa. Literally love and hot salsa. All right. So I'm going to have to think of my, what I'm going to talk about or my question. All right. So I am going to get started. I'm going to start out with the peach alumina or peach. Um, I can't even see this peach color corrector. Hey, Casey. And um, I'm going to turn on my fan too. Hey, Nisi. And so the other thing is it won't matter if you're on YouTube or Facebook. So if you hear me when I ask my question, and you don't know when I'm going to do it, uh, when I ask my question and you answer, start typing it in. Stop it in. Oh, no. I just thought about something. We might have, I might have to walk off for a second. I'm going to see if, hold on, let me see if this is going to work. Ah, nope, it works. Okay. Okay, we're okay. Happy, happy Valentine's Day. All right. Okay, so now I'm going in, I seriously cannot read this. I think that's soft. I was about to color correct with soft rose. It's one that the, the name had, uh, there's my peach. Okay. Woo. That would have been not so bueno. Hey, Trish. Hey, Cynthia. Amanda. Rochelle. Happy Valentine's Day or what I like to call single awareness day. 
All right, so I'm going to take my peach color corrector, put a couple of drops in. Now, guys, yes, or uh, sorry, I missed yesterday, um, but what was it? Wednesday, I brought you back to the basics. So I brought us back to the basics and we just airbrushed. So if you're new to airbrush, hey, Kathy, thanks for joining us. If you're new to airbrushing, guys, just get foundation down. I show you a lot of different ways to cover a lot of our different products, a lot of different things. Don't get overwhelmed by that. That'll come eventually. Only thing I want you to do, foundation. That's it. Foundation. Just get the foundation down. Because once you get the movement down, where to hold it, all that, once you get that down, you're golden. Then it's just a matter of figuring out what products are going to be best for you to get the look that you want. But just get the foundation down. Don't start thinking, oh, I need this, I need... No. Boom. Foundation. That's all I want you to worry about. All right. So I have my peach color corrector in here. And now I'm going to go in. I'm going to do underneath my eyes, my nose. The peach color corrector It's great if you have sunspots, dark circles. Um, Anything and everything on that. Um, I use it at, for redness as well because I'm not switching out products. I'm only going to one, okay? Luminous makes it so simple for you that we're not having to switch out a bazillion different products. If, I, if, peach, if the peach color corrector is the one that I chose and I'm using it, then I'm using it for all of it. For broken capillaries, for the redness, you're going to use green, Nisi. Hey, Marissa. I'm just going to. Rachel says, I love all my luminous. Love it. All right. So I'm just going in. And this is starting my coverage, okay? I'm not covering it 100%. This is just starting my coverage. So I can go in. I think that's all I'm going to do, really. I've been getting these little red things right here. Don't know why. All right, now I'm out. I'm not going to worry about it because I can cover this with the foundation. Um, and like I said, if you're new to airbrushing, just do the foundation. The foundation is going to cover everything for you, but you, there might be something that we're going to use later, but that you'll want to use later, but you don't have to worry about that right now. Just get foundation done. Hello, Rebecca. All right. I'm going to use Mystic 3 and put my drops. Do you have to rub it in? No, Kathy. We don't. When you're, when you're airbrushing, you should not have to touch your face. Now, if you're fixing something or you need to like, maybe you got like a hot spot and you, you can tap that out. You can rub that in. But under no circumstances do you have to spray it on and then rub it. This is blending everything for you. So how you're spraying it is you're going to be about four finger widths away. You're going to keep moving. You're going to think of the air that you're feeling as your bristles. So you're just going to be like that. Um, and then barely pull back on the trigger. Again, it's different than traditional makeup because we're not wanting to see it go on. You should be like, what? It, I look beautiful. Like you should, it, you should be shocked how it changed your face because you didn't see it go on. Does that make sense? Um, let's see. Hey, Nancy, what is your secret to not hearing the airbrush while speaking? Uh, I don't know. I just ignore it. <laughs> I talk louder. <laughs> uh, Rachel says, I got the primer and boost it. Is that one pass or each then foundation? So Rochelle, it depend, or Rachel, it depends on your face. Um, you'll probably want to try it different ways. What I would recommend is try, um, try applying your foundation without primer, then do it with primer. Um, maybe just one pass the primer and then start the foundation, boost it, use it by itself, see what it does. Okay. Then you might want to put a drop or two in your foundation and then you can skip a step. 
but it's, I hate to say it because like there's no hard and fast rule. I can give you an idea and then you go from there. So I personally do not always use the primer because I use, normally I use Silk 4-in-1. It already has the primer in it. And so Boost It, if I'm using Boost It with that, I'll just put a drop in my foundation and then I'll just skip, you know, that way it combines those two. Um, Linda's like, I love not having too much makeup. Yes, girl. Oh, you can't hear my machine. I can. <laughs> so I think, um, yeah, there's definitely some vibrations. You, I, so I think I just talk really loud and the mic's probably up here versus down here. Um, so that's probably why. All right. Turning my system on. Now I have my foundation in here. And now I'm making my passes. Oh, thank you, Myrna. Going around. And guys, look, I'm not in a hurry. We're not like, oh, hurry, go. We're not racing. I'm just making my passes, getting my coverage, going down my nose. Yeah, Karen, I definitely talk louder than my machine. I think that's the issue. Going back and forth. Most of my coverage is going to be on my cheek area. Hey, D-Love. Um, honey, there must be something. Else. You're saying that it stopped working in 30 days and won't give your money back. Um, Chances are there's something else. So you can ask anyone. Our customer service is amazing. We have a, I mean, you have a one-year warranty. So I don't know, that doesn't even make sense. Um, so we have a one-year warranty. Um, so chances are there's probably something else. Maybe, so I would definitely call and talk to our customer service. Uh, but yeah, we have a one-year warranty. Um, our customer service by far is amazing. And especially if you order from a consultant, um, that you're going to have that one-on-one -on -one personal touch from a consultant. So, um, so my, my recommendation would be to call customer service. Okay. Oh, Karen says I always use three drop finisher, a moisturizer primer before I walk out the door. I like that. Do you love what's wrong, babe? What's wrong with your machine? Kelly's like, our customer service rocks. Yeah, it really does. I'm like, when people tell me, oh, I need to get, I'm like, I don't know. Because like, our customer service is amazing. So yeah, what what's going on, babe? And you can also call customer service. They're trained to walk you through any issues. So, you know, like if you feel your machine's not spraying, they're going to send you, they'll tell you about the videos of how to clean your, how to clean your stylus. They'll, I mean, there's, again, we're not leaving you hanging. And that's, honestly, that's one thing I can say with the utmost certainty. Uh, my daughter fell in love with it. Maybe I need to clean it. It doesn't spray. So, Dila, yes. Um, clean it. You have to clean your stylus after every single use. And all that entails is blowing um, water through it. So, if you're in your bathroom doing your makeup, you can turn on the hot water and run water through it <clears throat> until it's clean. Other things I would recommend if you haven't cleaned it in a while is soak it in pretty hot water. You can pop it off the hose. You can pop this off and, um, and just soak it in warm water. Um, there are videos on there as well on our uh, website to show you how to clean your stylus. Another thing I would recommend is tip top cleaner. You'll want to run that through occasionally as well. Since you haven't maybe used it in a while, since you say it's not spraying, 
then definitely, I would definitely call customer service so they can walk you through what to do. Um, <clears throat> but again, if your sprayer is not working, again, there's a one year warranty. So go through the right steps because if it's not working, they'll send you another one. They're going to make it right. Okay. I promise. I promise. All right. So now let's go into some eyes. I'm going to use our nude and naughty. And I am going in. Let's use this one. And this one. All right. Hmm. Do I want to use that or do I want to add some? Oh, I know what I'll do. I will add some click and play as well. All right. So now I'm going to take my primer. Oh, yay, Myrna. Oh, yeah. Do you let, believe me, girl? I, I mean, I, I understand. But I mean, number one, it's frustrating if it's going to, if that happens. So I apologize that it's that frustrating. But I mean, yeah. And then, and actually, that's the issue is like, once you do it, you're like, I have to have this. <laughs> Help me. But I'm just telling you to go through those channels because <clears throat> they will make it right. So if it's, and I do always recommend too. When our stylists go on sale, I suggest purchasing one because um, if something ever happens to your stylist and you have to send it in to get replaced, you have a backup. That way you never go without it. Um, that's what I would do. Another thing I would do. Um, but of course, we want to make it right. So, all right. So now I have the uh, primer on my click and play. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. There's so many fun colors. <laughs> Rebecca's like, stylus, I have two systems as backups. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I know several people that have that too. <laughs> They're like, uh, I have a whole system as a backup. All right, so I'm going to go in with, you know what, let's use, I kind of want to have some fun today. So. I'm actually going to go in with coffee bean. Nope, that's cave. I can use cave. Yeah. I'm going to use cave in my crease. Oh, thank you. I love hearing that I'm awesome. So I'm going in and just putting them all in my crease. These earrings are coming off. So I can get down and dirty. All right. So now I'm going in. So remember, we're going to do a giveaway today for with hot salsa and love. And the way I do my giveaways is... I ask a question, I look away for a period of time, and if you know the answer, start typing it. Because when I look back, the first right answer I see is the one that wins. I do it that way because of the delay. So just so you know. All right, now I'm going to go in. I was gonna use the new naughty, but I'm using the click and blaze now. And now I'm going to use Stark. Just kidding, Spark. All right, so now I'm going in. I'm just going to put that on with my finger. All right there. Right on the lid. Okay. Right there. Hold on. I'm going to get... I'm 
getting more eyeshadow palettes because there's one I'm wanting in particular. Aha. And I'm going to go back and blend a little bit there. And then with my small blending brush, Oh, you use the other one for a like a loaner to teach people. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if, how I'm gonna like this one Hold on, before I say something. Happy Valentine's Day! Okay, I'm using Passion in the Strength Palette, which is this bottom color right there. Even though I have it upside down. Throwing some pink up in here. Just the small part of the crease. So not blending it out too much, just getting it a little. Um, Candy, we're talking about having a backup or having a, like I always recommend having a backup airbrush, <clears throat> a, a stylus. And people were talking about having like a whole backup system. <laughs> Okay, now I'll use the Nude and Naughty. Hello, Jennifer. Um, and I'm going to use the dark brown, kind of switching between the dark brown and the black. And I'm just going to pop a little bit right there in the outside crease, outside corner, almost making a little V shaped, like up, down, up, down, like right. Boop, 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 boop. Right there. Right there. All right. And you can start seeing how all this funness is starting to pop. I am going to go back with a little bit more of that passion, the pink, and blend it just so you can see it a little bit more. All right. And then now. I'm going to take Spark and line a little bit underneath. Okay, but I'm going to go back. Let me get another brush real quick. And with the dark brown, on top of that line underneath. Remember Luminous Beauties to put, uh, uh, just, you can only put the emojis, guys. Only put the emojis. All right, so line them a little bit more. If I need to, um, like looking straight into the mirror, I think I wanna blend this out a little bit to kind of elongate, because I know I'm going to put, you know I'm putting lashes on. So if you're new to Luminous and you're like, why are these emojis out here? Those are our Luminous beauties, and they put the emojis down there, so you can reach out to them if you are interested in hearing more about Luminous, hearing more about becoming a consultant, anything and everything. You can reach out to anybody. They can help anybody, no matter what state you're in. All right, so now I have a little bit of fallout here. So what I'm going to do with this is find my powder. Which is right here. And take my, this brush I only use for powder. So I'm taking the translucent setting powder. And I'm just going to swipe. And what that will do is that swipes any flakes. That's why you don't want to rub it in. I'm just swiping flakes off with the powder. And that way I don't have to clean up anything. I didn't mess anything up. I'm bam, done, good. All right? All right, so now we have some lashes. 
But first, let me do a little bit of contouring. And I'm using the Cut One palette, and I use all of the contouring colors. I just doo -doo 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 -doo, rub them in like that. A little bit on the jawline. And you can go as severe as you want to, as light as you want to. I don't know where that came from, so we'll just wipe that off. There we go. And then I'm going to use, I, ha I haven't done this in a while. Let's use, I mean, I used it the other day, but I'm going to use Charming Blush. It has, it's pink and it has a little bit of that shimmer in it as well. And since we're sticking with Valentine's Pinky, I'm going to go with that. Now, ah, that's good, Karen. Karen uses her stylus to blow the flakes off. That is a great idea. Mm. That's so cute. <clears throat> uh, Rebecca's granddaughter did Valentine's makeup today. That's so cute. All right, so now what I have left are lips and lashes. So let's do the giveaway while I'm doing the rest of it. Um, and then I can do my lashes. Let me see what lashes I'm going to use. I do have my bag of lashes. So I'm going to separate them a little bit. I'll do the giveaway. I already know my question. So that takes a lot of the work. Does everybody, this is not the question, but does everybody have big plans for Valentine's Day? Do you do anything for Valentine's Day? Or just drink at home alone? Just kidding, like me. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> um, hello, Julia. Casey, no plans? I like Valentine's Day. I think that's, because I literally, I really do. I call it Single Awareness Day. Because I'm like, everybody get flowers. I don't get flowers. Um, ooh, Candy's getting dressed up and going to the bar. She's doing it right. Um, Which ones do I want to use today? I think that's one. One day I need to do like a double, um, a double one where, um, like you put two sets of lashes on one eye. That's what they do with Dancing with the Stars. Oh, I love that. Marina's husband bought her donuts. All right. No. Is that right one? I always feel like I have to use new ones. Maybe these two will work. All right, let me cut this little edge off. And I'll gl start gluing. All right. So now my question as I'm gluing is for the the hot salsa love, love hot salsa. Ready? <laughs> I'm like stringing you along. What color, what color were my earrings? What color were my earrings? I'm not looking into the camera because y'all need to start answering. There's a delay. I look away. Then I come back and the first one to answer the correct way will be my winner, will be my winner. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. 
I do it this way because there is a delay. Everybody's internet is different. And so this way it gives it, it's fair for everybody. I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Um, so what color were my earrings? I made a big deal and took them off. So y'all would know. Or did you? I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Um, I'm gonna look down. It's so hard not looking at the camera. I'm like, I'm looking in this one. All right. I'm going to put this on. If you know the answer, you want to keep typing it in. Don't just type it once. Type it, type it, type it, type it, type it, because you never know when I'm going to look up. Like right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nobody's getting it right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I mean, mm, mm, mm. Ooh, that was, oh, Patricia, Patricia, they're pink. They were pink. Patricia, you are the winner. The first one I saw, first one I saw. Hold on, let me tell you which Patricia. Now that everybody's answering. Patricia Heller, you are the winner. You are the winner. They are pink. That kind of was a true, I mean, that's hard because I can see, but no, they're pink. Nice pink. Ah, lash stuck to me. All right, I'm getting this one on. Uh, <laughs> Patricia, email me, girl, so I can um, mail you the gooders. So I'm putting this one on. Marie, we just did a giveaway. So I'm putting this holding this one down. This one's a still a little wet. So it's um, not sticking as much as I want it to. So I'm having to hold it down, but there we go. Now I think we're good. There we go. All right. Oh, Patricia, my email is Heather at Luminous Beauty dot com heather like share at luminousbeauty.com yay all right so now i'm going in i'm going to put on some red lips however i'm going to line first with dusty rose dusty rose is a very neutral color And just because you're wearing red doesn't mean that you have to line with red. Sometimes I line with a neutral color to kind of tone it down a little bit. So if you're, you know, like, oh, I want to wear red, but I don't know if that's too bright. Try doing it with a neutral color at first. Fill in the lips. And I do fill in so I don't have that really exact line. And then this is a big puppy. My red salsa is at my house. <laughs> or it might be in my bag. Okay. And see how and you can't see it. You can't see that neutral line because I'm going up all the way. I'm covering the line.
like that. And there you go. I'm going to leave my mark on who I kiss. Just kidding. But if I use my stain, the lip stains, you know, I wouldn't leave my mark. And actually, these are super high pigmented. So you don't have like. You have minimal, but also it's still on. Um, so once this sets and gets, um, you know, like on me, then I won't have, um, it'll stay. It has that same power as well. All right. So now, hmm, I wanted the green. Um, where's my green one? I wanted the green oh, yes, persuasion eyeliner. So I'm going to take this. And line the eyes. I'm not necessarily concentrating on the line, just this one part up here to make it look seamless. And do it right at the lash line. Or right, yeah, right at where the my fake lash is. Then go in and color that if I need to. Voila. There you go. There you go. All right. I am ready for Valentine's Day. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day. Um, do something fun. Have a fun weekend. I'm going to see you back here on Monday. Um, send, I want to see a picture. Send me some, send me your Valentine's looks. Send me your Valentine's look. Heather at LuminousBeauty.com. Send me your Valentine's look so I can uh, see everybody. All right. All right, guys. Have a great one. And I'll uh, see you soon. Bye for now.